Hello, welcome to another Sonic Lab presentation. We've got David Arland here from Roland. Yeah. And last time we saw you was at Supermove in Berlin. Great mm -hmm. show. And you showed us the kind of new additions to the System 500 module range. Yes. You've got the whole, uh, the whole gang here today. Yeah, here, right? exactly. So uh, we have the old System 500 here. Uh, and also the new set right here. And uh, while they have some similarities in, in the character of the sound and the oscillators and, and the filter, at least the main filter, uh, they do complement each other quite well. So, you know, if there are some bits you, you thought was, were missing in one set, you can probably find it in the other one. Well, as we know with your rack and modules, it's always it's yeah. an ever-expanding <laughs> yeah. story. Yeah. So these are still made in conjunction with Maleco. Correct. Um, but you've kind of modified the production process. They're now built in Japan, Yeah, right? they're now manufactured in Japan, so the availability is uh, a lot, they're a lot easier to get a hold of, essentially. Right, which uh, is yeah. also good news, because yeah. I know that, that the first lot took a little while to come to market. Yeah. So um, looking at these, uh, the first one is a kind of, uh, it's not a full synth voice, but what's it? VCO, VCF, and VCA, right? Yeah, correct. So the, the 510 is like an all-in-one synth module. So if you're just getting started with modular, this is kind of a good place to begin because uh, it also has quite basic functionality. Uh, and Or if you just want to get like the typical classic Roland sound in, into a, an existing modular setup, that's also a nice kind of all-in-one unit. Well, OK, yeah. so let's have a listen to the waves, because uh, um, that's obviously what we're, <laughs> we're here for. Yeah, yeah, so the nice thing with the 510 is also it's actually uh, hardwired, it, it, so you don't need to connect, for instance, the oscillator to the amp and so on. So that's uh, a normalization. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so now we have uh, the SH-01A as well, sending CV and gate to, to, to uh, the system there. And we can just make a little sequence. Something random. <laughs> Uh, yeah, now we can have a listen. Now it's of course just very flat. Can have a listen to the filter there. It's got that that thing, that Roland yeah, thing. Yeah, that the beefiness, and of course also if you turn up the resonance here, it gets nice and slimy. <laughs> So that's a low-pass filter. Yeah. Uh, there's also, uh, by the looks of it, is that, is that a, like a, a high, an extra high-pass going on there? Yeah. As well? So there's some high-pass you can apply to this. So sort if of post the filter. Yeah. Out. So if you just switch it to, you know, setting one and two, get a bit of high-pass. Right. Okay. Or so even just more. Restrict. On. Restrict. The, yeah. That's kind of yeah. like the old Juno. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, perhaps if you just stop that a sec, can yeah. we have a look at the waves? Because I know that, um, th well. We've got the scope. I mean, you're probably not going to pick this up on YouTube, but there's quite a lot of depth going yeah, on here. I yeah. just wanted to show you the fundamentals. Yeah. Of that. We got that up on the screen. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, we're listening, we were listening to the square wave there, weren't yes, we? Yes, right? correct. So if I plug that in there, then the square wave, and you can see, gosh. So what, what, what are we, if you play a note, what's the note we're, we're listening? So this is a D. Right, so that we can see there the fundamental is super low. That's down in 30 hertz. So we've got plenty of bottom end in there. Yeah. And the shape is kind of... There is... Uh, is there pulse width, dare I say? Yes, of course. Uh, so we have the pulse width uh, setting here. All right, and we can modulate that, presumably? Yes, exactly. So here's the modulation depth. And we and already have taking, a little... We've, we were taking that from... Uh, an LFO here, right? Yeah, okay. exactly. So in the 555, in the utility here, just put a little basic uh, triangle wave. I always think triangle sounds better on positive modulation. Mm. Oh, no. Well, while we're at it, let's take a look at the other the, the other waves. So if we go to here, yeah, uh, that would be... The, well, that, well we that, don't really need to play, do we? <laughs> so that's the, uh, the triangle. Again, massive fundamental and a really nice shape. It's interesting yeah. because when you go very low, sometimes the shape is actually a bit less clear, but that is a mm -hmm. really lovely shape. Yep. And then uh, let's look at the sawtooth. Again, really good shape, nice uh, clean lines. Yeah. Excellent. That's, that's all for now. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to show that just so that you could see that there was a lot of fundamental there and you know, the, the actual weight of the oscillators, you know, which may not come across on YouTube. So uh, can we just beef up the resonance there and have a listen to how, what, that's, what that's doing? Absolutely. Uh, so I'll just play the sequence again here. Sounds pretty beefy now with the uh, pulse with sound, modulation. Yeah, yeah. sounds nice. So yeah, turn up the resonance. You can get it to self-oscillate as well. Can we maybe listen to that on a, um, a sawtooth as well, just out of interest? Absolutely. So yeah, we'll just turn. Patch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this is hardwired the square there. So I've I put the the sawtooth there with a normal cable. So just turn that up. That's 
classic Roland, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. really nice and gritty. We can modulate it a little bit as well, so we have uh, have an envelope going in here. Or uh, we also have the sample and hold. And that's coming from this, this module here. Yeah, right? exactly. Five, five, five. Oh, that's nice. So, um, what about the 505? This is the this is based on the SH5 filter, is that right? Yes, correct. So it's based on, and, and the SH5 filter is a super famous filter and a lot of people's uh, favorite filter. Uh, and one of the, the cool things with it is that um, when you turn up the resonance, it doesn't really lose the bottom end as in right. many other filters. So, so it still kind of sounds really beefy. So you can route each of the inputs to individual filters. Right, yeah, okay, exactly. So. And uh, you can also mix them. So, uh, right, so it's a pair of filters. One is multi-mode and the other is bandpass, is yes, that right? Yes, yes, correct. Uh, so now we have the, the synth module going in here and... Uh, Let's get that resonance, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of. Maybe we literally. listen to that on the uh, on, on the sawtooth, yeah. So yeah. Oh, you want to hear it on the sawtooth? Yeah. Let's put it on the sawtooth. Here we go. So now we're listening to just the uh, this multi-mode filter here, which is now in low pass. It's creamier, isn't it? It's got a little yeah. tiny bit of bit of extra. Yeah. So you can run the set, the, the two filters in parallel as well, so you get that peaking. Exactly, oh, so if I, I just, the... yeah, if I just uh, switch this uh, switch over here and put, put it to a mix, that means now we'll hear the same signal going through both filters. So I can even turn this one. And now and you get that really nice movement between the peaks, yeah. which is, it almost sounds like phase. It's, yeah. it's, it's a bit like the SVF filter in your uh, System 8, isn't it? It does that sort of thing where it moves the, the peak. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, it's more interesting, again, if we just modulate it a little bit, so we can just take take a sine wave here and maybe just put that into the uh, one of the frequency inputs. So now and you can modulate both of them at different rates as well, I guess, can you? Yeah, of course. So now uh, filter one is being modulated with this, and then we can take another LFO, um, just take the one from here, for instance. So we'll take the, uh, yeah, the sine wave from that one, put it into this one. Okay. Two different LFOs. And we've got inputs for modulating the resonance, uh, the frequency, the resonance, and the level for all three filters. Yes, as well. exactly. <coughs> and uh, yeah, should we maybe try another sequence? This is yeah, yeah, getting okay. a bit old now, so just maybe taking a bit of a higher pitch. Just some. <laughs> And we're running this through the TRA. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, so this is going. You put some effects on that, couldn't you? Yeah, exactly. So we're, we're Any running. Synth sounds yeah. great with the, with effects on. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So uh, we're running into the the external input of the, the TR8S. So that's just a normal audio input, and of course we have our mixer here. So we have proper jack outputs as well. So uh, now we can just take this, put some of the internal reverb here from. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Maybe we can put some delay as well. So this utility module, which is next to the filter, yeah, this this provides a lot of additional functions. I guess if you combine that with the uh, 510, you'd end up with like a full synth voice with the envelope and VCF. So, so what does this do? This yeah, is well, and hold there, and there's no uh, there's no envelope per se, oh, no, no, but okay. there is uh, you know a bunch of other uh, modulation capabilities. So. Uh, like I showed you earlier, we have the LFOs here on the bottom. We have ring modulation. Uh, we have a noise generator as well, um, and uh, portamento um, and um, sample and hold. hold. Right. Yes. Okay. So yeah, and, but it's also got a slew and a lag as well, so you can. Rank yeah. Off. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so if we, yeah, if we can. Uh, I like to use the main filter for this one because it has uh, more resonance and makes it a lot clearer. So if we put that, uh, put that back on, and. Uh, so now we'll turn up the, the sample and hold again. Oh, that's the envelope, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's, is that clocked from... Yeah, exactly. So I have I have uh, several gate outputs coming from here. So I have a little, uh, All right, one so of those little five ways. So the gate is coming in here into the external clock input of the 555. Okay. So it's, it's nicely synchronized. And then, yeah, we have the lag time here, which is really cool because it 
it rounds off the corners, as you said before. So uh, basically, the frequency changes are just smoother. So useful utility stuff. Yeah. Right. I'll go and stick some more effects back on. It sounds like <laughs> yeah. just a little bit. Of, just touch a reverb. Yeah. And all of this is going into uh, the 531, which is a mixer. Yeah. It's actually quite cool because it's got a mute button, so it's almost like a little performance uh, module in itself. Yeah, exactly. Right? It has mute buttons here, uh, six channels, and uh, even CV inputs for panning. So you can send an LFO or an envelope into the actual panning. So it's a stereo mixer. You have left and right output through proper jacks again. Um, so yeah, we can maybe we can try that as well. Uh, just throw a little uh, LFO into the... Uh, which one should we use? Let me, yeah, maybe use this one again. Um, put it into the. So now we have the. Well, oh, you're using a that's sawtooth. a sawtooth, that's so a, that's, that's, a bit, interesting that's a bit. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, a bit hard. Maybe just put a sign. So now we get a nice auto pan. And of course, if we speed it up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay. it gets really confusing. Uh, I imagine that'd be quite useful because, I mean, the thing about performance mixers, mi mixers that have CV control, I mean, it's a, it's a perennial problem for modular users as well. It's kind of yeah, it's tricky. Are there any other CV control of mutes or anything or levels? Uh, no, the the CV inputs is just for the panning. Oh, okay. uh, but there's uh, another interesting thing here is we have actually a mic preamp, so you can uh, connect a mic with a jack cable and just get a preamp for that mic, and it will automatically come to channel number six here. All right, so you can bring in that, uh, uh, if you're singing over the top of it or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And um, we've also got, May, uh, it converts to, to line level at, at uh, uh, um, jack outputs. So yeah, exactly. You get, you so get yeah. into the outside world. So in, again, we're, we're going into the external input here, so it's easy, really easy thanks to this, just a couple of normal jack cables. So right. um, both of these systems are available now, right? This, is this in production and yeah, available? Yeah. Uh, what's the kind of pricing of these new modules? Uh, so uh, the the big ones, the mixer and the synth module, are uh, three eighty nine each. Okay. And uh, the other ones, so the, that's the that's the SH five filter and the utility module. They're uh, three forty nine. And then not st their standard depth. I mean, this is just a Roland uh, uh, case, isn't it? What's, uh, yeah. Their standard Eurorack depth. They're not going to kind of take any. Yeah, exactly. Power. I mean, you can actually see it from here as well. So it's not very thick. And uh, yeah, this this case is obviously available as well. So that's uh, three three nineteen. Okay. For the case, which comes with the power supply and uh, 10 patch cables, these nice ones as well. So uh, is this sold as a complete system as well? Uh, well, the old one is. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's like a, that has a product name for the whole system. And, and this one is sold separately, uh, these modules, yeah. Excellent. So, um, well, perhaps, I mean, the, the main thing is, you know, as is ever, you often have lovely demos programmed up mm -hmm. and you're using the TR-8S here. Yeah. Maybe um, we could kind of finish up with a little bit of a kind of what it sounds like all combined. Yeah, yeah. of course. Love to. David, thank you very much thank for coming Thank you very much. In. Always a pleasure. Uh, those are the new Roland uh, System 500 modules. That's the S, uh, that's the 510, the 505, 555 and 531. Thanks very much for watching. See you next Cheers. time.